Hi, I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with Samat Sagal, founder and CEO at BreachLock, developers of a world-class award-winning penetration testing as a service platform. To learn more about BreachLock, visit breachlock.com. Welcome, Samant. Great to have you back with us. Good to see you as well, Steve. So, Samant, you recently came on our show for an interview, and afterwards we had CISOs and security practitioners asking us more about BreachLock, and we felt the best way to do that is to have you come on and, and give a demo. So, Samant, take it away. Absolutely. So I've got the screen now already loaded up for you here, and what you see is what anybody would see when they log in, right? Um, it's a pretty clean uh, setup here, and you on the left, you see the capabilities that we really provide. So I'll go through them one by one real quick. So we have the web scanning option here, which is basically a dynamic application security test. We've got the AP, API scanning, which is pretty much dedicated to API security, which is a big concern with CISOs uh, with web applications these days, since you're integrating a lot of it with each other. And then you've got the external network scanning and internal network scanning, which is really the networking piece, uh, the networking security piece that BreachLock covers. But really the, the cherry on the cake here and our real strength is pen testing as a service. As you know, BreachLock is already positioned as a leader in that market from a SaaS platform perspective. So that's what I'm gonna dive in real deep today. So with that said, I want to talk about the four-step process that we follow, and then I'll get back into the demo, right? So this is important to understand. Once a client engages with us, they go through these four steps. What are these four steps? Onboarding, execution, remediation, and retesting. Now, what does that mean? When you onboard, you come onto our platform, you get these accounts that you need to function uh, with the platform. In execution is where all the magic happens. So that's where the AI module kicks in and gives you all the findings. And then world-class programmer hackers would make that really top class so you completely tighten up from discovering your gaps perspective. The third step is remediation. Now that's where most of the companies are gonna throw the report back at you and say, good luck with it. But we stay engaged with you inside the portal and we help you remediate all the findings by giving you the support through the portal so that you're pointed in the right direction to fix those bugs that we've found. Besides that, we also integrate with platforms like Jira, Slack, Trello, and Jenkins. So you can really embed the pen testing as a service inside your DevOps operations, right? And finally, but you know, the most important step is retesting because you got to see if everything is now buttoned up. So that's our fourth step in the process, retesting. Now that's where we come in and we help you make sure that everything is patched properly and there's nothing really left for the hackers to take advantage of. Right. With that said, I'll jump back onto the screen so we can go a little bit deeper into the pen testing module and I'll take you through those four steps now. Right. So the first step was onboarding. Now, when you talk about onboarding, basically we've got an inbuilt support uh, ticketing system there where you would be able to go in and you would be able to see certain tickets that are there. And within that will be all kinds of information uh, that you would need to uh, give us for, for us to be able to do a penetration test, right? So this is really very simple uh, in terms of what you need to uh, provide. And basically it's an interactive system. So we'll tell you what we need. You give us what you want. And it's a very secure way of communicating with both parties, within both parties, right? Now, let's say once the scope is with us and we're ready to help you with the uh, penetration test, we would schedule it on our end. And at that time, we're also going to uh, show you an overview page where you'll be able to track the progress of the penetration test, right? So you'd be able to see what the scope of the penetration test is. You'd be, you'd be able to see which step in the process your penetration test is in. So it's completely transparent. Now, let's say once you've um, actually have had the pen test done by the breach lock team, you are quickly going to be able to see the vulnerabilities that will be appearing for you in the dashboard section and the vulnerability section, right? Now, what's the difference between the two? The dashboard is really where you will see the overall summary of, uh, of the breach lock uh, platform in terms of you know, what applications are tested, this and that. And besides that, there's also going to be a breakdown from a criticality perspective, right? Which is a really good view for a CISO to have. So here you see a little bit of graphs uh, regarding that, but also the list of vulnerabilities that we would have to give you in order to, for you to fix it, right? Um, now, if you wanna go a little bit more granular, 
then that's where the uh, within the execution step you look at the vulnerability tab and that's where all the vulnerabilities are now listed and besides that is um, you also are able to click on each of these vulnerabilities and it, I, and you can also look at the different screenshots that that are there which are provided to you in a proof of concept format so here you see an example of a vulnerability um, that is, uh, you know, about the ports that were found open on the system. But let's also look at some interesting ones here. So if I click on the risk here, I would be able to, uh, you know, categorize them based on the criticality. And then let's look at this SQL injection vulnerability here, right? So you see it's really detailed in terms of the description, the CVE that's attached to that particular vulnerability. But you're also able to see the proof of concept where we really explain what we found, right? So now you know what vulnerabilities you have, but obviously you also need to solve it. So what do you do then? You can ask us for support. So next to each finding, you would see a create ticket button right there where you're able to directly interact with our staff, ask a question, and then we'll point you in the right direction again. Now with that said, now you've fixed everything that we found. So now you've done with the remediation phase, it's time for the fourth and the final step, which is retesting. Now, once you have to do that, you go to the retesting tab, and you basically have two options there, right? One is that you could come to us and request a manual revalidation with us, which means our team is going to go through all of the vulnerabilities and we are going to then uh, give you the retest report. So tell you that if it's all buttoned up or you, if you've still got some stuff to do, so you could simply click on this button here and request a retest. Now, besides that, the other option you have is on the vulnerability page where you also have an option to really click on a button and then be able to request a automated retest. Now that's really handy for a DevOps engineer, right? Because you're not gonna patch all the findings in one go. So it can, comes in really handy where you are able to see a button like this. And once you click on that, so let's say you've patched it now, right? So you wanna test if this one alone is, is now um, completely tightened up from a security perspective. You click on this button and within 30 minutes, the test is gonna be ready for you to, to validate, right? And that gives you a real peace of mind before you come back to the breach lock team for a human validated retest, right? Now with that said, now you've done your retest as well, it's time to look at the reports because that's why you initiated the penetration test, right? And when it comes to the reports, we've got three kinds of reports that we deliver. So it's the detailed technical penetration test report, the executive summary report, and the final retest report. Now, from a CISO's perspective, that's what you would want to see, right? Because essentially, it's all about the clean report that you want to send to your auditors, right? So here you see all the three reports that I just mentioned. And besides that, once we've all once we've seen that everything is fixed and tightened up on your side, which means the application has come out clean, we also issue you a security attestation, which is basically covering you for a period of 12 months because we just don't leave you out with a penetration test. The, the benefit with breach lock is that we also uh, issue automated scans that run for a period of 12 months. So you're not left alone because I really believe pen testing is more like a snapshot control. Whereas, you know, automated scanning can give you the added advantage to make it look like a motion picture of uh, kind of a control, right? So you see that there's a certificate and it'll mention what dates it will cover, what scans would be run and what assets were covered. So, you know, in the end, you get a full scale security testing experience with breach lock with all the four steps covering you all the way, onboarding, execution, remediation, and retesting. The more you repeat this, the more secure you are. Wow, where, where do I sign? <laughs> That's the last thing people tell us on our demo, Steve. So just start hey, off. Hey, you, you know what, Samant? Seriously, we see a lot of people come on. That that was a great demo. I mean, you know, this is better than going to the RSA conference and uh, you know having to travel halfway across the globe to to see that. Absolutely, it's a pleasure. Great, S Samant. Thank you so much for joining us today. I look forward to our next meeting, Steve. Take care. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. Joining us today was Samant Sagal, founder and CEO at BreachLock, developers of a world-class, award-winning penetration testing as a service platform. To learn more about our sponsor, BreachLock, visit BreachLock.com. You can watch all of our videos at CybercrimeMagazine.com. Mm -hmm.